Crafted here, that's what I've been working on today. A couple of nice card table chairs for my uh, mother. They've gotten wobbly. Um, she's had this set for quite a number of years. My father, before he passed, fixed two of the chairs. Now I'm fixing the other two. And so things are passed on. But we can see here that it's quite wobbly. This is uh, the first one I did was probably not, it was a little, little worse than this one. But we can see the joints are separated quite a bit. It's put together with dowels. I think the glue has just failed over time. I'm going to tear this chair completely apart as I've already done this morning with this chair. Now this chair is all clamped together. And it's been drying. And um, I'm not going to disturb it until in the morning. And I'll put the uh, seat in it and the back on it. And it'll be done. So let's get busy. Got to remove these plastic plugs to get the get the screws out. Mark this as I go. There's some things that could be put together backwards easily. And we'll mark the uh, outside and top of each piece. So I'll know that where these go. I'll go ahead and mark them. These are substantially slimmer, so right top, right bottom. That way, just in case there's any difference in the joinery, I won't have a problem putting it back together. Now, this front bar has a bevel on it, so its orientation is important also. So, I'm going to mark this. Right top. Right top rear. And this is front. These are the same procedures I took the first one apart with. I'm not sure what kind of adhesive they used in this furniture, but we've had this set. Oh, geez. My mother's had this set over 20 years. It started loosening up right from the beginning. Striking these materials with a rubber mallet. Don't want to mark them. I'm going to remove some staples. You can see in there. Found this other piece of metal to use besides my knife blade just to keep from rolling the pliers, the vice grips, into the wood, minimize the damage. And spread that stress over a larger area on the side of that hole. 
There we go. Made some progress. Removed. In order to get these joints to fit back together, when I put new adhesive in, I got to get rid of these lumps of uh, lumps of old glue. I'm not sure what this glue is, but it's really brittle. I had one joint on the other chair. I couldn't quite squeeze together again fully, and I think it may have been related to not scraping off enough of this stuff. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of glue. And basically just scratching around on this with the end of a flat blade screwdriver is breaking most of it out here. You know, the failure of the chair was really a failure of the adhesive that it was built with. Another thing that's led to the failure of this chair is um, if you notice that red colored glue or brown glue isn't here there's a little bit on this side and almost none of the tenons show any evidence of the glue so I just think it was really poorly put together I'm using an acid brush and painting all the surfaces of tight bond we'll get to that in, as we get to reassembly okay I couldn't separate this uh, rail without possibly breaking some wood so I'm going to drill into where those uh, dowel pins are and then when I put this tenon in it will push glue in and around the dowel pins and I've already done another one that I can see so I know right where they're at and then this is uh, the inside that can't be seen and this is the spread of the dowel pins I'm going to go ahead, there's, there's, they're a little bit loose here, but not loose enough for me to get this apart. So I'm going to go ahead and drill these two, and then I'll use a syringe or possibly some thin glue um, to get some glue on these dowel pins. I didn't drill through. Oh, good, I didn't. So if I can't get it apart, that doesn't mean I can't get glue in there. I sure can. I've been assembling the frames. This is the back frame. And the front one's laying there under the case on the floor. It's time to do the rest of the glue joints. Keep a wet cloth handy. Notice I have some uh, adhesive running out. We don't want that to dry on the wood. It's a generous amount of glue. I'd rather wipe it off and know that I've got enough adhesive to uh, fill the joint. think about it, I think these chairs are from a nice card table set my parents must be at least 20 years old. So this is probably the last service this set's going to get. There's no reason you can't get a lot more life out of things. Okay. acid brush or epoxy mixing brush to make sure all the surfaces are coated. I 
wonder how much longer this set of uh, chairs and table will be around. I suppose they're worth refinishing. Putting new fabric on. Who knows? I hope she's around long enough to do that. That's the difference when you do things yourself. I can afford to take the time to clean up my, the mess of using an adequate amount of glue. When factories make this stuff, there's some guy working there who wants to slam it done and get home, need a production schedule. I don't care about that. I just don't want it to fall apart. I don't mind doing the job as long as I never have to do it again. Quite messy with the wood. All that seated really well. Make a quick wipe off of glue. I'm able to redissolve this glue. So whatever smears I've left on the wood, I can get back off with moisture. I'm putting a lot of tension on these. And a little bit short of clamps. I'm going to use some straps on some of this. are a little bit awkward. But they do a good job. See the glue squeezing out of the joint there? Pulling that up tight. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm going to go rinse the glue out of my cloth, go over the chair again. I believe I can let that set till tomorrow, put the back and the seat in it, and uh, we'll have the second chair done. Here we are, two chairs reassembled, ready to go back to the, uh, ready to go back to mom's for Thanksgiving. <laughs>